talking. I know I only talk the loudest. Really ain't about it. All I got left in me is visions of my enemies. You got sentimental energy, my penitentiary. Hey guys, welcome back to another monthly uh, update on the shop. Bit of a video of what's going on in the shop. Uh, not too much to report this month. Uh, a lot happening in the shop, a lot going on, but I suppose no major new sort of products that we can release or anything like that as such. Uh, but a couple of cool uh, cars and, and builds and stuff in, in, in the works. Uh, over the last month or six weeks, we have had a few setbacks with things. We've had a couple of our boys here have a few injuries or have a bit of time off. So that has prolonged uh, turnaround time on shipping, on, on orders and stuff. So if you guys have put in orders for lock kits, IRSs, all that sort of good stuff, uh, if you have put in those orders and you have found that it's been a little bit of a delay, we do apologise for that. Uh, it's just been that we've been sort of... Uh, understaffed lately so as well as as well as builds and stuff but of course and you guys that have had your builds booked in you're sort of aware aware of that because we do like to keep you updated as much as possible but there's still plenty going on you'll see in this video what we've got booked in and what's going on so um, again not much on the products side of things we do have as always quite a few things in the works which you will see as time goes on but on this episode not sort of too much uh, but we'll, we'll check out a couple of cars we've got in the shop here and then we'll, we'll go out the front and see what's out there and, and uh, we will show you uh, Brad and Chantel's uh, club sport that we've just sort of finished up the rear end on which you would have seen on the intro. So first one we've got over here is Dane's VH. It doesn't look like much at the moment and is definitely pretty uh, bare in, in its panel work and stuff like that but uh, what we're going to be doing on this one is a complete rear end, so that includes uh, sheet metal fabricated tubs, uh, boot floor mm -hmm. section, hump, side panels, the whole the whole rear end, uh, and we will update the the social media pages and stuff with just regular posts and, and, and things like that. We've put a couple up there so far that you've probably seen. So we'll just keep you updated on how the build goes. Now that's just the rear end. We're doing a nine inch for it. A uh, couple of other bits and pieces. It's then going to go back to Dane and, and obviously uh, get the panel panel work done, painting and, and interior and stuff like that. Then we'll finish off with the plumbing out the fuel system and the exhaust system and, and brake lines and all that sort of stuff. So it's going to be an absolute enormous build once it's done. Um, it's not a long term build in the sense of it's going to be here for a terribly long amount of time, but just because of the amount of work in it. You probably catch it in, uh, in next month's update and, and possibly the one after that and stuff like that. So uh, we're definitely excited for it. It's going to be sick. Uh, a couple of cool things uh, sort of organised with it. Uh, so you'll definitely want to sort of keep an eye on that one. Uh, Next one we've got over here, in the last video you did see uh, Enmar's white VL Commodore on there. That was only in for a, a basically a diff upgrade, so it was just a, a VL, we've done a shortened diff on it. Um, you can see that it's all finished up uh, and, and that was, that's out the door. Here now we have Pete's um, VZSS Ute, a really really nice car, really cool street car. Uh, we're in the rear end, we're just going to uh, fit it out with some tubs, fabricated tubs. One of our tubular uh, rear cradles, we're going to raise the diff height up. It's got a 9 inch, Ford 9 inch IRS diff centre. Uh, we're going to do some shortened arms on it, we're going to do a coilover kit on it, and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, you'll definitely want to check that out, especially for you guys that are looking to tub your cars and fit one of our IRS kits and stuff like that. This is a perfect example of that, as well as uh, Chantal's uh, clubber you'll see out the front. Um, you'll see that they are super cost of effective and, and capable of not only holding big power, this one's making a good bit of power, but just being a cool little setup that keeps it budget friendly while still fitting big wheels under there and stuff like that. So it's going to be a pretty cool little build. We are doing that, a, a complete separate build video on that. So if you do subscribe to our channel, you'll definitely see that video pop up and you'll be able to check that out. And that's going to be, it's going to be a bit of a build video. So we're explaining how we go about doing it, how we fit the IRS kits, what the benefits are of it, 
uh, you'll see us doing a bit of fab work on doing the tubs and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, pretty cool one. If you do have a VT to VZ that you are looking at getting similar work done, check that video out. You'll, you'll seriously like that one. Uh, last car that we've just received down here in the shop is Steve's uh, absolute beautiful VF GDS. This thing is uh, really insane. Um, you know, personally, I absolutely love the VF model. And, uh, and this one's uh, no exception, this is a beautiful example. We do have a few cool things uh, booked in for this. We can't sort of go into too much detail at the moment just because of what the job is and, and what we want to achieve with it. Uh, but it is in here, and for you, any of you guys that do like the VEVF models, we've got some really cool things booked in for this. Again, we're going to do another video on this as well. It won't be uh, a build video as such because you'll see that it's not necessarily a build that we're doing on it but we we will have another video for that I don't know if it's going to be in the shop by the time you catch next month's um, uh, sort of monthly update video but there will definitely be a separate video for that so but uh, the VF Genius is an absolute awesome car so that's about all there is in the shop at the minute uh, not really too much going on uh, like I said, we've sort of been too under the pump, I suppose, to, um, you know, be, there's not a lot going on social media, you probably noticed, uh, and there's not a lot going on with new products and stuff. I think coming into the end of the year, we're usually heavily under the pump with jobs, whether it be getting them ready for summer nuts and so on. Obviously, summer nuts is cancelled, but there is that summer nuts slam and stuff like that. Uh, but guys are definitely still keen to get out of this COVID period and get their street cars done. So we, we're... Just as busy as any other year. Um, but I think it's important. That's why we're trying to stick with this theme of keeping you guys updated. And just see what's going on here. See what we're building. See what's new to hit the streets or, or anything like that. You know, there's, there's um, plenty of new builds coming out of here. And products and stuff like that. So, uh, like for example, Zach's car. We haven't, we haven't done anything over the last four weeks. But we have been uh, CAD designing a few new plates and bits and pieces for the falling kits and them. So... Always something going on. Uh, for now, I think we'll go out to the car park and see what's what's parked out there, and um, you know, see see what those cars are up to, and then and then finish off with with the clubbies. So let's go check it out. So we've got a couple of cars out here. Uh, first one here we have here is a um, obviously a VL. It's coming for tubs, set up coilovers, falling, set up all that sort of stuff. Uh, running a 9 inch uh, and then we'll finish it off with a Andrew cage he's got a new combo going in so he wants to uh, approve it for Andrew sort of racing do some do some times in it and see what it'll run so um, we probably won't get started on it early into this month but but towards the end of the month we'll, we'll, we'll have a good crack at it so you'll probably see a bit of progress on it in the next video uh, the Gemini I think you've seen you did, you've seen the Gemini in the last video just briefly. Um, we just finished up on it. It's still been done and all that sort of stuff, but the difference between then and now is we have uh, changed the tail lights back to the original style. Originally it had, um, sorry about the wind here. Originally it had uh, some aftermarket tail lights and stuff like that, but the only ones changed back to the original, so we've gone and fitted them. Basically from here, it's just gonna go and get the paint panel done just to uh, blended in around the back end and it's sort of ready to go uh, he's going to do, do plenty of summer cruising in it so uh, that's that's pretty much early this week it'll go off to the panel shop uh, with uncuffed just waiting on some parts in the minute so it's not it's not uh, getting anything done at the minute we are waiting up for the next couple of weeks on a few parts to come in so it's sort of put on hold uh, just for the minute and then the VF you did see that one on the hoist last time. We're waiting on a set of um, race wheels from enemies everywhere. So as soon as we get the wheels back, we can continue on some progress on that. So for now, not a great deal happened with these cars, uh, besides the fact that they get pushed in and out of the shop every day, but not, not a great deal going on. Uh, last one here for the video, we'll finish off on this one. We've just finished this up. Absolute beautiful VY Club Sports. Uh, again, as I mentioned, uh, Brad and Chantal's clubby. Uh, we've fitted, so originally this car was tubbed 75mm IRS. Uh, it had one of our 
uh, SCF shortened kits in it. Uh, and it was it was an absolute ripper of a car beforehand, but we have decided to step it up, put a shorter IRS in it, and then fit it out with the Flowform 20 by 10 Simmons on it. So the IRS that we run that suits that kit is the 125mm IRS kit. Uh, we don't have it available on the online store. It is one of those things that it's you need to to message or email or, or contact us to organise getting one of those kits made. Uh, but that's what we've gone ahead and done for this car. So we have fitted that. So we've just finished that recently um, It's as I said, it's running the Mini tubs already. It does have the HSV brake kit on the rear. It has got the 125 mm uh, shortened arms we run the shortened drive shafts and as you can see it is also airbagged so uh, absolute ripper car ready for obviously some summer cruising now that uh, restrictions are starting to ease so i know they'll be wrapped they haven't yet seen it they would have seen it by now by the time this video goes up but they haven't yet seen it so i know they'll be wrapped once they they see it fitted out with those new wheels um so they'll they'll go and uh, obviously organize engineering i will make note that any of our uh, shortened irs kits do not come with engineering as like any rear end setup, it is up to you guys to get it engineered. But um, again, definitely, definitely worthy of the street. Uh, so they'll get they'll get all that sorted and and get it out for some night nighttime cruises. So um, we'll finish the video up there. Again, not a lot going on. Uh, we didn't really show any any work getting done in the shop, uh, but gave you a bit of an update on the builds and what's going on and what you can expect to, to come out of these stables. Uh, over the next month or two months and stuff like that so we'll leave it there for now be sure to like the video uh, hit the subscribe button to to keep updated with any more videos that we've got coming out uh, obviously we've built some pretty cool cars here and no doubt you guys are going to love seeing each one hit the streets so uh, that's it for now thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time cheers yeah.